Hello Internet, we are back for the second round of the extra Pokemon Society Little Cup tournament. Uh, actually in the losers bracket now, because uh, I had to forfeit a match because I didn't turn up. Um, I'm seven hours behind uh, the rest of the competitors and I was at a balloon festival and uh, cycling around Albuquerque. So that's fair enough, they had to get on, but uh, yeah, I was dropped down to the losers bracket. Um, which is fine, because you know, I didn't intend to lose anyway, just got to play who's in front of me. Uh, now I'm up against Jay, and uh, let's just go and see how it pans out. Okay. Now I'm up here, um, I lit off with Tangler because looking at his team, I could see that there's not really anything that would like to, that, that could hit me, um, that could KO me. There's not really anything that could KO Tangler. Um, and Bunnelby, I thought, was, you know, it was quite likely to be his lead, um, just get out there, smash anything, not prepared for it. So I just, uh, yeah, went off with that. Um, does a hell of a lot. I think it's probably banded. And I just, yeah, uh, actually quite a significant amount of that Natu. But I have to really switch out. Don't want to take a drill peck or something. Um, now, this Merc Crow was, well, you'll see. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a bit like a Swaggerer in that it's just, it either works incredibly well and annoys the hell out of the opponent or it just get wrecked. Um, I actually suggested this shelter to Jay as a counter for it, so that was a, you know, fair enough, I, I reap what I sow. Um, so Murkrow goes down, bit annoying, and now he has the momentum here. He really has the momentum. Um, and meta choice scarf metatyping paralyzed is very annoying. And despite my huge power, cannot take out the whole edge in one. He takes me out, I'm down 4-6, not looking fantastic. Um, he, Fletchling was my best move there because he couldn't shadow sneak me. Um, whereas if I brought in Sneasel for the priority, he could have shadow sneak me. Here, Swellix. I don't get the I don't get to force him out with a red card, but that's actually quite useful because I'm um, unburdened. He couldn't take me out with a nice shard, um, so I can just take him there. And I don't think he knew that a special Swellix would run flamethrower. Perhaps he was expecting the belly drum set. Perhaps if he had never played Swellix before, he just didn't know what Swellix did. Um, because I was able to, Swellix came through here really with my unburden, um, and just made things a hell of a lot easier. Took out, well, Sneasel, his biggest threat, and Ferris Seed, really his biggest wall. Um, with Metatite gone, I didn't have much for, I didn't have much for Ferris Seed. I think I might have Overheat on my Fletchling, um, but even then that's really not fantastic, because if he, he can predict that he can work around it, not be down to the special attack. Not me down two special attack boosts, so uh, yeah, that that was really that was really nice. And here, you know, I do what I can, but Berry Juice, fair enough. He can just take me out. Um, his shoulders really quite, quite bulky, uh, quite powerful. Now this is Tangler's bulk coming through, yet again. Now this was this was a hairy moment. Cause I'm down to one HP. Uh, he got a crit, but in. Now, out of five hits, that probably brings it up to something like a, a above fifty percent chance to actually get a crit. So that's fair. Um, yeah, Tangler's bulk is just insane. Um, I was able to take that quite. Uh, well, I won't say quite nicely because that was terrible. That was scary. But I think I would have needed to be quite unlucky. I would have needed um, him to get a high, very high roll, uh, or for me to, get, or for him to get another crit. Um, and I was just able to. Knock him down here. I got a crit there. I don't know if that mattered. Um, I think it might have, although Tangler is pretty specially offensive. That was definitely lucky. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the what the roll difference could be, but certainly I didn't know that I wouldn't go down there. And if I had, he would have... Um, oh, well, yeah, he would have had a bundle be at full health, and that would not have been nice to face. I would have had to basically sack my Fletchling. I probably could have taken him with a Sneasel Ice Shard and then just got the Natu, but it this made things a lot simpler for me. A lot simpler. Because now, Tangler goes down, fair enough, done his job, Fletchling just comes in and cleans up. Um, it's, just in, it's not fantastic... Well, I say it's not a fantastic Pokemon, it's S-ranked. Um, it's well, If you can work around it, Fletchling's not too bad to face. But once if you if you let it get to late game, and let's be honest, with these five, it's hard to not be weakened. 
um, Fletchling just really just just wrecks, um, and I can just clean up with an Atto. I guess he was expecting expecting me to maybe be running uh, running Stealth Rocks or something that he could not back. Maybe Thunder Wave, uh, which I think he, he actually saw in my previous little cup team. So Natto didn't do a huge amount there, and I was just able to just to, to take it. And that's a good game, good game, Jay. Uh, I'm on to the third round. Um, can't remember who it is against, but uh, yeah, we'll. I'll see you there.